All right, guys. It's a new day. It's a new week here on the Mississippi River. It's one of those deals. We go through it every summer. We get massive torrential rains, and it just trashes this whole place. We're going through that right now. We had you know, some of the surrounding areas got about eight inches of rain earlier last week. Absolutely trashed the river in certain areas. But then yesterday we had some more torrential rains and now it's pretty much, from what I've seen, just taking a run, pretty much the entire river is completely filth. I'm up in a pretty protected area right now and the water is still absolutely filthy. So we're gonna have a little bit of a challenge today. I don't know if I'm gonna even catch a bass. Um, I, I would think I'm gonna find a few still, but it's hard to say. These conditions are pretty poor. And today I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks, um, how to figure out how to catch these bass when the water turns absolute mud. Now obviously, when it's pure mud and you can't see even an inch down, your success rate's gonna be pretty low. Um, but on the river, there's certain things I look for to try to find that slightly cleaner water. Uh, I don't think we're gonna find any absolutely perfectly clear water today, but it's, it's about finding that little bit cleaner water. Um, when everything's trashed, the fish go to the less trashed water and that's the key you just got to have a good eye and be able to pick up those subtle differences and you'll start to catch more fish throughout the day uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do I've got a light bellied frog on right now the first thing I'm gonna do is switch to a black and that should help me stand out a little bit more that dark profile in that dirty water it's gonna get more bites so stay tuned we're gonna see what we can do out here and hopefully we bring some fish catches today so one thing I'm noticing already all of this stuff here is dirty water there's current actually coming through the grass because the water's rising. And it's pulling dirty water into here, but I see an edge of slightly cleaner water just above here. And I'm seeing bait fish flipping. Definitely looks right. I think this is gonna be a productive area. Bay, you can see this whole bay right here is just kind of protected from the flow on either side, coming through the grass or coming from this slough. And so this provides us a perfect spot for these fish that have been in this area to pull into here and stay protected from that dirty water. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's a good fish on a buzzer found clean water, that didn't take long. Once we found the clean water, it was just immediate. There's bait fish everywhere in here. I'm really liking this setup. The nice thing about these conditions when you get this muddy water everywhere is that it isolates the productive areas. That's not necessarily good for a big tournament because things will start to fish small. But you pick up those little intricate details, put on a buzz bait, fish that mud line, get around the bait fish, we start having success. That's a good quality two and three quarter pound Mississippi River largemouth. Get her back and get another one. <laughs> 